Welcome to season three of Construction Week in Focus, CW's bi-weekly video series covering a wide range of key issues every week across the reeds and spilt environment. My name is Jack Ball, Senior Reporter at Construction Week, and today we discuss the state visit of Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, Vice President of the Council of Ministers and Minister of Defence, His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman, to various countries in Asia over the past two weeks. In this episode, more specifically, I look at the young Crown Prince's state visit to China, which followed after two separate tours of Pakistan and India, which construction week covered thoroughly. To kick things off, state held Saudi Aramco signed two major Sino oil and gas agreements in Beijing amidst his official visit to the Xi Jinping led superpower. The oil and gas giant signed an agreement to form a joint venture with Norinco Group and Panjin Xinxian. Part of the deal was see an integrated refining and petrochemicals complex built in the Panjin city of China's Liangning province. Separate memorandums of understanding were also signed by Aramco to acquire downstream facilities in China's Xiujiang province. The Liuaning JV paves the way for the formation of Huajin Aramco Petrochemical Company, in addition to the 300,000 barrels per day crude refinery. Valued in excess of 10 billion US dollars or 37.5 billion Saudi rials, Aramco's latest agreement is the largest Sino foreign JV of all time. Aramco will hold 35% of the newly formed company, whilst Norinco and Panjin will respectively hold 36% and 29%. Aramco will supply up to 70% of the complex's needs for crude feedstock, while operations will set to begin in 2024. Aramco followed this announcement by signing three MOUs that will drive its expansion into Zhejiang, which it describes as one of the most developed regions in China. The first MOU with Shushan government will see Aramco acquiring a 9% stake in 800,000 barrels per day Shujiang Petrochemicals Integrated Complex in Shushan. Commenting on both agreements, Saudi Aramco's Chief Executive Officer Amir Nasir said, and I quote, Our agreement with Norinco and the Liaoning province is a clear demonstration of Saudi Aramco's strategy to move beyond a buyer-seller relationship to one where we can make significant investments to contribute to China's economic growth and development. In other news, MOUs between Saudi Arabia's public investment fund-backed Aqua Power were signed with China's Silk Road Fund and Huawei, also on the sidelines of His Royal Highness Mohammed bin Salman's official trip to Beijing. Aqua's latest agreements with both organizations will pave the way for further investments and technological advancements in power generation and desalinized water production plants that the Saudi company builds and manages. So clearly some very large scale developments in the Saudi Sino relationship with no doubt more announcements to be made over the coming years. You've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We will now be publishing new videos every Sunday and Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. And if you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, including those from our sister titles, you can click on the subscribe button just down below or visit our YouTube channel, Construction Week, for more great videos, including those delving further into the Crown Prince's visit to both India and Pakistan in his latest Asia tour. As always, if there is any topic that you would like us to discuss in another episode, do please get in touch. My contact details are down below in the description box. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.